Ricky. All right, everybody. Now, um, I was watching a video, uh, I think it was about two weeks ago. And it was a video from a guy called M Guy Australia. Now, I didn't go out of my way to watch his video. It just so happened that I watch a lot of electric car videos and, and car videos. Um, and his video popped up. Now, let me just say this. A lot of people are going to accuse me of being an evangelist, right? Loving EVs. But I like all cars, OK? I, I got to get that out there. I like all cars. What I don't like is people jumping on a bandwagon and uh, checking out misinformation. Now, you could say that this next article wasn't misinformation and he was just reading what he saw in the news or the media. Um, but the trouble is, if you make a video where you just jump straight away, you see an article in the newspaper, on the media, on the internet, anywhere, whatever you see it, on your phone, on your tablet, or whatever, um, if you see it straight away and you go, oh, quick, and you run to your computer and you make a video as quick as possible, then the chances are that you're going to get caught out because you're going you're gonna to run to the computer make your video, get it out as quick as possible, uh, get as many views as possible, but then a couple of weeks later, maybe the story isn't as true as what you thought it would be. Now, so the video in question was um, about electric buses in cold countries, okay? Um, so running electric buses in cold countries, I think it was Norway, uh, I'll put it up by here. Um, so the M Guy Australia, he said, the, the thing that sort of, <laughs> it grinded my gears a little bit, is the way he says things. Um, uh, so I'll, I'll put what he said up on the screen now, and you can listen to the way he sort of said it. Now you've got to remember that he's only just read this article and rushed out the video. And, you know, you don't have to do your own journalism at all you just you can just read somebody else's stuff and bang it out same as what i'm doing i'm doing exactly the same but this is what he said this story shows the absolute stupidity of the crusade for electric buses which cannot function in the cold welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another one of my ev realist videos in which i try to inject a note of sanity into the mad dash for evs and net zero currently being spruiked by a government right so that's what he said about electric vehicles because he read an article and the article must be true. It must be. Because if it's, bar if it's something bad about electric vehicles, then it's got to be true, hasn't it? <laughs> now, I can see it. already people are pointing at me going, he's an evangelist, he is. Um, but I, I like the engineering aspect of electric vehicles. I do. I like it. I like the, you know, what, what they can be in the future. Um, you know, batteries... Technology is changing. But anyway, let's, st let's stick to my rant about this. <laughs> so he read an article and the article stated that the, 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 the buses couldn't perform properly in cold weather because the batteries didn't have enough range. Now, battery, battery range does drop. It does drop in cold weather. I'm not disputing that. I'm not disputing that at all. Um, but he said, you know, they're rubbish, basically. They, they can't work in the cold weather. Now... Two weeks later, fast forward two weeks later, and Bjorn Nyland puts out the video, <laughs> um, which is not which, and he likes electric vehicles. So you could you could say he's one way, uh, MG Guy Australia is the other way. This sort of the opposite of spectrums, I suppose, isn't it? Right? But he put out a video. I think it was yesterday or the day before. I bit my tongue then. Oh, um, he put out a video yesterday or the day before or whatever it was uh, and some other journalists had talked to the actual company who owned the buses and they'd asked them what's going on what is going on with these buses that can't work in the cold weather I mean come on what's it all about tell us now um, so they told them and they said that it wasn't actually the buses it wasn't the buses or the batteries it was the chargers the charging infrastructure they had there at the bus depot, it couldn't stand the cold weather, so they weren't they were showing up a fault and weren't charging the buses properly. Um, and I think they've had this problem before with other chargers, but in Bjorn's video, he did say that they, they've upgraded 
their charging system now to go down to minus 30 something um so that should work fine uh so <laughs> so he's jumped the gun haven't he he jumped the gun the other guy the other guy's jumped the gun he's put his big size 10 boots in i don't know what size boots he was um He's made a video. I, I don't know if other people probably made videos as well. I'm not, I'm not just picking on him. It's just I happen to see his video. So I'm not picking on him. I'm just saying that, you know, sometimes you make a video. You make a video. You're all gung, gung ho. You get a, oh, let's make a video quickly. And then a couple of weeks later, the truth comes out. And, you know, I'll, I'll put the article by the side of me here where it says um, about... The I'll try and link it in the description if I if I remember. I'll probably forget. I'm getting old. <laughs> um I'll try and link the article where it said that the it was actually the chargers, not the buses. Like I said, batteries do, you know, have less range in very, very cold weather. Uh I, I don't know if it, I don't know what percentage it is, maybe twenty percent, I'm not quite sure. But it has less range. Um and obviously heating, I'm not quite sure. Now, here's another one. Um, electric buses in cold countries. I did read somewhere that some of them have diesel heaters. Now, that'll annoy, that'll, that will annoy some people as well. They'll go, oh, look, they got to have diesel heaters. <laughs> I, I, but I'm not sure about that one. You'll have to go and look yourself. I haven't done any research on that at all. But um, they might say, I think, I, I, I read it quickly that they said somewhere that they might have diesel heaters on certain buses. If you do know, pop it in the comment section. Educate me. Because, you know, I don't know everything. All I'm doing is giving my opinion, okay? Now, some people <laughs> get annoyed with me for giving my opinion and saying, oh, you, electric cars are rubbish, this, that, and the other. But, I, I look, if, if we are going to go down the electric car route, right, which all the governments are going to push, right, so we might not be able to, even if you go kicking and screaming and going, oh, oh, I'm on this one, oh, oh, oh. you might have to prepare yourself to go down this electric route, even if you're kicking and screaming, okay? So it's best to have some knowledge about things, isn't it? You know, best to educate yourself on certain things. Anyway, so that guy had a rant about uh, electric buses being rubbish in the cold, but it turned out that the actual fault was down in the chargers and they said that i think they said in the article as well that the drivers sort of adapt to the cold weather when their battery range goes range goes down so there we go not so bad as it all turned out was it <laughs> so what's the lesson uh learned today i don't know um don't jump the gun uh and if you do make a video with false information right okay a couple of weeks ago I'm talking about the guy who made the video then how about making a follow-up video where you said i was wrong now he probably won't say he'll probably say i wasn't wrong um the company's hiding hiding the truth that's what they'll say because that's what conspiracy theorists say don't they <laughs> everything's a conspiracy it's all been hidden so there we are that's my thoughts that's my opinions okay if you want to hate me go ahead and hate me i don't mind Put in the comment section. I can't stand you, mate. <laughs> anyway, that's my rant for this video. And I'll catch you in the next one. Woohoo!